welcome this is the sixth, sixth video in this video we will explain some of the digits of a given number program so this is also given in the TCS mod uh, TCS ninja for uh, on the month of September now I will explain how we need to do so initially we need to take one number that number is divided uh, module with 10 we will get the remainder means it divides it separates one digit from that and that is summed like this keep on uh, again the number is divided by 10 it ignores the decimal point automatically we will get uh, ignored one digit from the number this is the way uh, we need to do the entire process so here i need to take n is equal to one one twelve thousand 345 that is modulated with 10 we will get the remainder of 5 and initially sum is equal to 0 sum plus 5 is equal to 5 now 12345 divided by 10 will get 1234 now we need to divide 1034 de module 10 we will get remainder of 4 and previously the sum is 5 plus 4 it will become 9 now we will take 1234 divided by 10 we will get 123 123 module 10 will get 3 and 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 now 123 by 10 is equal to 12 12 more 10 is equal to 2 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 12 by 10 is equal to 1 1 more 10 is equal to 1 and 14 plus 1 is equal to 15 finally 1 by 10 is equal to 0 so the process will stop when it reaches 0 the process will be stopped so same thing will be written in the code that while n is taken n is stored in some variable t and while t not equal to 0 remainder is equal to t mod 10 this is the second line r is equal to n mod 10 and sum is equal to sum plus remainder so here we are doing sum is equal to sum plus remainder initially sum is equal to 0 and t is equal to t by 10 that is nothing but n is equal to n by 10 first procedure so after completion of this process we will get the sum the sum will be printed and second one without module operator without module operator we need to do how we need to do means we need to take it as a string and we need to store the values and until and the end of the string we need to take each and every digit it is subtracted from a character 0 obviously we will get it initially sum and c are 0 n of c while n n of c not equal to null means each character we are comparing it and we need to do it so we need to compare from that digit and we need to sum it and we need to print the value of sum obviously we will get the output so using recursion mechanism so simple thing is so here add underscore digits is the method called once add digits in the process initially sum is equal to 0 if sum n is equal to 0 return 0 otherwise sum is equal to n mod 10 plus add underscore digits by n by 10 so this is the remainder is added to this and the number is automatically repeatedly occurring to reduce this so this is the single line statement uh, this statement will be ended with n is equal to 0 uh, so clearly we need to see uh, add underscore digits of n and that will n let us uh, suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will come to here initially sum is equal to 0 n not equal to 0 so coming to this process n mod 10 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 by module 10 means we will get 6 6 is added to sum 0 initially sum is equal to 0 now the sum is 6 plus add underscore digits of n by 10 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 by 10 will get 1 2 3 4 5 so using these three methods are synced in a single line nothing will be more nothing will be more and keep it in mind that 
if you write any one logic we are mentioning three logics out of which which one is comfortable to you you have to write in the app i requesting you that try to do these programs in the compiler and try to execute these programs in the compiler and what is the output you are getting if you are experienced it definitely it helps and make it type fast and ignore the syntax errors thank you